All right, hey Gemini. So I'm doing a read for you guys on what is preventing the person on your mind from coming forward. All right. And if this, um, the past and what causes separation and your energy do not resonate, you guys are going to want to check your other placements. Okay. And if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I do hope you'll stick around, subscribe. And I like to just jump right into things. And we're going to start with um, the past to see what was going on with you in this connection to see who we are talking to. For Gemini. All right, <clears throat> let's cut into it, guys. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. That's telling me that fate is most likely guiding this situation. And if you guys have been here, you know I don't re read reversals all the time. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So this does um, speak of mistrust that has gone on here. Um, what I feel from just the cards that are sitting right here is, uh, I don't feel like this is a super deep connection, meaning that I don't feel like you guys have been in a committed relationship. All right. I feel kind of, um, y'all could have met online with distance being a factor. Um, I do feel like it came out of nowhere. All right. And with the five of swords, this speaks of conflict. So I do feel like that's where the separation come in, but I feel like there is, it, there's a, point of contention here with the seven of swords and I feel like that's mistrust so I feel like either you Gemini or this person don't you're not trusting the situation all right but with the wheel of fortune coming out I feel like that's a huge um that's a I feel like that's a cinder from the universe you guys that's fate stepping in it could be too that you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody to come along and it's like this person comes along Wheel of Fortune comes out, a sudden positive change of events, but somebody's not trusting the situation. All right. Y'all could be at a distance. You could meet, you could have met online. Y'all could just be single for some time. And um, I just, I, I feel like there's secrets. There's secretive behavior, okay? That Seven of Swords um, that shows up is somebody that's not trusting the connection. Somebody's not trusting the universe. Somebody's not trusting something. All right. With the death card coming out, this is, um, this is a new beginning. This is rebirth. So I kind of feel like that's in the past. Um, I, I just, I can't help but feel like you guys have been waiting a long time for a new connection and this is healing. So somebody that's healed from past connections, past wounds, um, with the five of swords and then the six of swords aligning um, just so that does speak of conflict and moving out of conflict. So whether that's with this person or without them, I do see that somebody's moving forward here. All right. And I feel like um, Gemini, I'm going to say that's you, your energy. So what caused the disconnection? What caused this disconnection for Gemini? Secrets. Okay, here's what I feel. Um, so, okay, there's healing. Four, five, and six of swords all coming out. Um, here is what I feel. What caused the disconnection? Now, typically, I do not speak of the high priestess and the energy of being secretive because this is divine feminine energy. All right. But what I do feel is somebody was not presenting themselves in divine feminine energy. And that could be male or female. Um, tarot doesn't recognize sex. Okay. We have the Page of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. And I don't ever refer to this card as a third-party situation, but I feel like there could be a, a third-party dynamic, um, and it could be an ex, um, a mother, anybody else coming and, and, and incorporating or in, in putting themselves into the situation. And I feel with the Page of Wands, that's why somebody wasn't um, able to deliver more than page status, all right? So, um, basically what I feel is 
I do feel like this is a new connection. I don't feel like you guys were ever wholeheartedly committed, but I feel like there were secrets um, that that uh, prevent you guys from moving forward. All right. And what with what caused the disconnection, I feel like somebody was withholding something about themselves. Um, and I'm going to put it on the person that you're dealing with. And I feel with a page of wands, you know, that's being um, inspired and passion relit but also too, it's a page. So I feel like maybe Gemini, you were breadcrumbed by somebody who you thought was going to be this brand new connection that you've been waiting um, to come into your life. Okay. This was supposed to be a change. This was supposed to turn everything around. And, um, I feel with the high priestess, um, not so much, um, secret, but somebody not being in divine feminine power. So if I'm speaking to a female and you're dealing with a man, um, somebody who, who doesn't know how to embody the compassion, the love, supportive type of um, energy, you know, that women should know or typically do um, because women are more compassionate. They're more loving. They're more, they, women act on emotions, I guess, is what they say. Um, and I feel that um, so a man who embodies divine feminine energy would embody that. So, um, but also too, on the other scale, if I'm speaking to a man, um, the, uh, I feel like the female that you're dealing with or the feminine, the divine feminine is being an immature version of what she should be and not giving you, um, not breadcrumbing because women do that too, if that makes sense. And I'm not trying to stumble on my words, but I just see this page energy and with the three of pinnacles, I don't feel like it's a third party in, in regards to romance, but just other things preventing you guys from being together. And that's why the energy got pulled apart. Okay. You're a current energy. I hope that this makes sense to somebody. Okay. Your current energy. Look at. This is Divine Masculine. Both of these cards right here. This is Divine Masculine before he impregnates the um, High Priestess. So Divine Feminine and Masculine. So um, with the Wheel of Fortune card, um, like I said at the beginning, fate is guiding this connection, even if you guys don't believe me. All right. So you guys are supposed to be together. There's going to be a lesson. There's going to be something out of this. All right. But I do feel like it's not a lesson. It's more of a, it's, it's going to turn out to be a complete relationship, even if you can't see it now. All right. You're in the energy and, um, I'm not trying to single anybody out, but I do want to just kind of chime in that I do feel like I'm speaking to, um, specifically a male energy here. Um, because you know what you're, you know what you deserve. And I feel like the feminine in this um, situation is the one that's not coming forward and being truthful or telling you the whole story. All right. And I feel like you're kind of noticing this person, um, being a little bit deceitful, not letting you in. This is somebody protecting their heart space, but I feel like you're looking at it as this person being guarded, but this person, I feel there's a reason why they're not telling you more and you see that, but whoever I'm talking to, and you could be a female and embody the utmost divine masculine energy while you have a male or a female, it doesn't matter, um, not representing themselves. All right. And the true authentic energy that they're supposed to be embodying, if that makes sense, Again, I'm sorry. I don't know why you guys are tripping me up, but this is the first read. I've, I, I kind of feel like I'm stumbling over my words and it's not, I'm not trying to stumble over words, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to say anything else. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So Gemini you, you, whoever I'm talking to, you know, that, that the universe has sent you this person. And even if they piss you off, even if they make you mad, you know, that this connection is supposed to be there. Right. And you're like, I've done the work. I've released the past. I have grown as an individual. If I'm a female, I embody divine masculine. And if I'm a male, um, I'm balanced in my feminine and masculine. All right, but how does this person feel about you? They walked away from you. Eight of Cups in reverse is um, a representation of somebody walking away from you. But look at 
you know what this connection is and i'm just gonna say this person also does this is the 11 11 card all right that's marriage that's commitment this is new beginnings so they do want this back and where they walked away from you they do want to come back i'm just gonna say that okay so what's stopping this person from coming forward what's the hold up <clears throat> look at what's what's stopping them they're they're not they don't embody their divine i cannot believe these cards that have just came out you guys have the the high priestess and the magician the emperor and the empress so what's stopping this person from coming forward is it is that they recognize they're not coming in the energy that you need them to be all right um they know they know how they should be they know that they need to take care of things in their past. They know that they need to heal situations or whatever it is that drew them away. Um, they're, and I, I'm not going to go through and say or pull cards to see what their secrets are or what the conflict is. That's for you guys to discuss. But this person knows that they have things to repair before they can um, truly be the wish fulfillment. All right. That they need to be and that they want to be and embody on this journey. Now, with justice coming in, especially on this um, this spread on why they are not coming forward, this is because the universe has stepped into this um, situation. All right, this is karma coming forward. This is straight from this person's universal energies, the ones that's with the 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 energy that's with this person. This is them stepping in and pulling this person away. All right, so that this person can take care of what they need to um, in order to embody the energy the correct energy for this connection so this is a 30-day intention read you guys this one might go just a little bit past that 30 days because um i feel like we're dealing with a, a quite a bit of a larger scenario in this connection if that makes sense like a, it's, it's a big deal this connection right here is a big deal so what does this person want to tell gemini yeah they're growing see they're growing look at the reason why the pause is coming is because they are this is a very spiritual card the hangman is somebody who's bound to the past bound to situations of the past so this person being bound to stuff got pulled away from you they need to transform something with the death card coming out and it could be the way of thinking it could be just um it could be physical energy it could be whatever um, how earlier I mentioned, I, I felt like I was talking to, um, a, 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 the divine masculine. Um, it could be that this person's been very codependent in the past, very, um, much relied on, on the divine masculine energy to take care of. And this is the universe stepping in. This is like, to me, whoever is here, you're dealing with somebody who was very, very codependent. And, um, you probably might've recognized that maybe not but this is why you guys are getting pulled away is because this um, energy needs to come up in the independent mode queen of pentacles is a very independent mode and if you just kind of look at these energies it's like no, we don't rely on nobody okay you guys are supposed to be in alignment and if i'm speaking to divine masculine whether you are male or female it doesn't matter you're not here to take care of anybody you're not here to even if that's what you want you're just like that's all i want no nah. But I feel like for whoever is still here at this point knows that um, for universal alignment, this person's got to take care of their own too, you know, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Um, so basically this person's coming through saying I have some stuff I got to take care of and this person, is, they, they're just... They, I feel like what they've done is they've kind of hinted off of what your growth. They've seen you and they're just like, I want to be like you. And I know I need to change some things about me. Um, so Gemini, I feel basically this person is not changing for you, but you make this person want to change to be a better version of themselves. Okay. So is this, uh, what's the next 30 days look like? What is the change that's going to be happening or taking place? Yeah, so where I was saying it might go past the 30 days, 
okay, it's going to go past the 30 days on this connection. But there's a lot of stuff that this person's going to be working through. And I feel like um, even subconsciously, you have probably brought some stuff just by meeting this person. You've brought some stuff to light that this person's going to be working through. So I do feel like um, this is being at a little bit of an impasse, but this person's going to be clearing and purging some things, all right, um, of how they've been in the past. And I feel like you've just truly, um, Gemini, you've, I feel like you've wakened this person up. Y you've, you've put this person in a mode where they want to purge all of, all of this stuff. Let me just, I want to clarify these because yeah, this is, this is a, this is somebody who's been through a lot and that's probably why they were not, they, they weren't being, um, they weren't being, I don't even want to say honest. I just feel like they've had a lot of stuff in their past that they didn't, they, they didn't come forward with and it it's more about imbalance. Okay. And I just feel like this person's got a lot to take care of before they can truly come forward and be in alignment with you. But you know, while that's, while if you truly want to be with this person, Gemini, um, while they're doing that, you continue to focus on yourself. This is the Wounded Warrior Knight, and this is the Wounded Warrior card. All right. The reason why the wall isn't coming down from this person is because they have stuff they have to purge from their past. So let's see what your advice is. What is the advice? Look, it's going to come back around. Tens are about endings. All right. And this person is going to lay this stuff to rest. Okay. Um, temperance is balance. This is a soulmate card. This is a, this is um, the angels of the past coming back. So this situation is going to come back around. It's just that when it comes back around the next time, all right, it's going to be balanced. It's going to be something that you guys can enjoy together because it might have seemed fun at that time, but it's not It's not going to be a fair and equal opportunity. So basically you have two energies and if they're not in alignment, somebody's going to suffer, all right? And, you know, I feel Gemini, if you're still here, it's because you're in alignment and you're wanting to know what's going on with this. The universe wants this person to be um, growing, you know, like you've done. So I feel like your advice is just to be patient while this situation while this person purges and what they know that they need to let go of or release comes to an end. And I, d I agree with it because I feel like I've, I've gone through the same thing. I'm, I'm on the um, receiving end of uh, going through a deep connection and knowing that somebody's not in alignment with me. And we've been in disconnection for um, almost a year and it hurts because I know that this person and I are supposed to be together, but I know that if I was with this person, um, truly, um, it would not be an aligned situation, um, no matter how much I want with my heart to be with this person. So it's, it is all about divine timing. I'm not saying you're going to be waiting a year, but this connection that's coming through is really deep. All right. So hopefully that doesn't bum you guys out. Just be patient and work on yourself and think of the person, um, that's on your mind in love and light and think of them with passion, with compassion and just, uh, pray for their healing, you know, um, I mean, that's really all the advice I can give because, you know, initials coming out, yours are there first, middle or last. Um, if you guys don't resonate with the initials, it's fine. If you're still here up to the end, then you know, it's your read if you resonate. Um, it could be a passed over loved one coming through. However, the initials resonate with you. So we have J, N, L, M, R, R, N, W, Gemini. I love you guys. I do hope that you'll comment and let me know who's coming through on this. I apologize that I couldn't give a definitive 30 day answer, but um, I, I, I'm, if I'm just going to be honest, I feel like it's a twin flame coming through and somebody's story just needs to be heard and somebody just needs to be told that everything's happening the way it should. All right. I love you guys.